Hey everyone, what's going on? So today's video is going to be about my eyebrow piercing and how it kind of rejected. I'm just going to tell you my story to see if maybe you guys have similar stories or stuff like that. So I've wanted my eyebrow pierced since I was a little kid. That is the most favorite piercing that I've ever wanted. I wanted it more than my tongue piercing. I just wanted it more than any of the piercings that I have now. Um, for some reason though, I held off on it for a really long time. I don't know if I, it was just nerves or if I was scared or, or if just in my gut I knew it wasn't a good idea. But um, I grew some balls per se <laughs> and I decided to get my eyebrow pierced. Um, I got it in the beginning of June of this year. Um, and from the get-go, something was wrong. Like when he pierced um, my eyebrow, it bled like crazy. Like when he got done, it looked like it was a murder scene. There was blood all over my face. There was blood on my shirt. There was blood on the floor. There was just blood everywhere. And I was really nervous. I, I even asked him, I was like, did you hit a nerve or something? And you know, he was like, no, no, it's no big deal. One in ten people um, bleed when they get their uh, eyebrow pierced and you happen to be that one. And uh, he was like, so it's no big deal, you know, whatever. So, uh, you know, okay, it, it finally quit bleeding. He put the medicine on it and I went on my way. And, um, you know, weeks went by. The cleaning stage was good. Um, I did what the piercer told me to do, how to clean it and everything and um, change it between four to six weeks. Um, everything was fine. Um, I noticed though that for some reason it would kind of stay infected a little bit even though I would clean it. It still kind of had like a little infection to it. Um, I didn't think anything of it because it was still in the healing process. Um, so once the four weeks got here um, I decided to change my piercing and I changed it and like I said the infection was still there um, but I thought you know if I keep cleaning it it'll go away you know like I said no big deal um, so I changed it at the beginning of July like I said after four weeks and I was going on vacation to Florida well I went to Florida and you know slept in the car woke up whatever I realized or noticed that there was like crust on my eyebrow and my uncle noticed it too he was like is your eyebrow infected and I told him you know it has been but I've been cleaning it and stuff like that and so it should go away um, so I kept cleaning it I kept changing it and I changed when I changed the piercing I made sure I, I cleaned it off and cleaned inside and stuff before I changed it and then I would clean the actual needle um, before I stuck it in there and um, it, it still stayed infected um, I have no idea why um, so I took it out one day to like really get a good clean and I pushed on it to see if any pus would come out and something in there just popped like I, I know this is going to sound disgusting but have you ever had one of those pimples really huge pimple and when you pop it you can actually hear it pop and it like shoots on the mirror um that's what that felt like and sounded like and the pus literally popped right onto the mirror and i was thinking you know how can this be after i've been cleaning it and doing everything i'm supposed to do so in my head, I don't even know if this can happen, but in my head I was thinking, you know, maybe it was an underground pimple, you know, the undergrounders that you sometimes get, and it was caught up in there, and me pushing on it, you know, um, got out all the pus and everything that needed to, and so now that once it's clean, uh, the infection will go away. I was wrong. It did not go away. Um, the skin that was holding it in place was starting to get thinner and thinner every time I would take out the piercing to clean my eyebrow and put a new ring in or clean the ring that was already in there I would put it back in it would be fine the infection would like leave for like a couple of days 
and the redness would go away, the swelling would go away, and then a couple of days later it would come back. You know, when it came back and I cleaned it again, I noticed that the skin was actually starting to get thinner. Um, so I don't know if maybe like my body was rejecting the piercing, um, like the needle, I was allergic to the type of needle that the ring was made of. Um, so stupid me didn't think about it before it got too bad to use a different type of, of ring, like instead of metal, use plastic and see if that would make a difference. Um, so I ordered me some, um, plastic eyebrow rings and they came in the mail and by that time it was basically too late because my eyebrow piercing, the one that I had in, was just hanging there. Like basically the skin that hold it together, that was pretty much like dead skin. Like if I just picked at it, it would fall right off. Like I could just pull it off and it probably wouldn't even hurt because that's how thin the skin was. But you know, I changed it anyways and um, put the plastic one in. Um, the plastic one was in for about a good week and I could tell that it was about time for it to go. Um, so I took a shower one day, I got out of the shower, started brushing my hair, and then I noticed that my eyebrow ring was gone. So it had just fallen out. I didn't feel it, I didn't notice it, or if I didn't look in the mirror while I was brushing my hair, I probably wouldn't have even known it till like the next day. Um, so I honestly don't know if like it just rejected, or maybe, um, I don't really have a lot of excess skin here like most people do um, so maybe there wasn't enough skin to just hold the piercing um, because it got thin super quick um, I probably had it in for about four or five months um, so it, it did last a while but not as much as I wanted it to um, so if you guys have any like comments about what it could have been if if maybe I was using the wrong stuff to clean it or what if maybe it was just rejecting and I don't know because I, I've had lots of piercings before and I still have quite a few and none of them have ever done that before none like none of them have ever been infected none of them have ever rejected but I've heard a lot about rejecting piercings, so I, I want to say that it just rejected. Like, my body just wouldn't have it. Um, but if you guys have any comments, maybe, you know, more info about what was happening, you know, maybe you can let me know. I feel like there's still a little skin that's, like, hanging there. And it's going to, I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely going to be a scar there. And, uh... The whole time when I had the piercing, too, it stayed really sore. Um, like, if I would, like, lay on this side of my face, if my pillow just touched that, I would, like, scream in pain. It hurt so bad. So, I don't know. Rejection is all I can think of. Or maybe I just didn't use the right cleaning stuff. Um, I would like to get my eyebrow pierced again, but like I said, I don't know if I have enough excess skin here to do it. So I think I'm just going to leave it alone, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was really long. Um, questions, comments, feel free to type it below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh -oh. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye.